Hey everyone, Bobby at Decoding here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get started on Zeus Market. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so on the screen here is Zeus Market, that's their main website, and uh, link to this, uh, this page is in the description below, so take a look in there. When you are in there, you'll see there's also a link for the HBAR Foundation blog page, where they state that they actually gave a grant to Zeus Market, which is an NFT marketplace built on Hedera, to build out the application, okay? So I've known about Zeus Market for some time. HBAR Foundation support them, they also support me. And they support me um, with HBAR so that I can create Hedera-centric videos. Now you can support me by liking this video and dropping a comment, and also subscribing and clicking that bell. That has helped me massively. So, um, Zeus Market, so it's built on Hedera. You can link a Hashpack wallet to Zeus Market, so you can then trade NFTs directly with your wallet. Now, I've done a video on Hashpack wallet before, so I won't go over old ground, but the first step on Zeus Market is to log in, and you log in by connecting Hashpack wallet. Now, I'll click this Chrome button here, because I've got a Chrome extension. Click that, log in, and it'll tell you to select the wallet and approve, okay? So this is just the way we connect the apps, is you need to approve the connection, transactions, trading of NFTs, the moving of HBAR, things like that. Uh, and the reason you do that is because that, that negates the need to um, make your private key public, okay? So that's why uh, we connect the wallet so that it can do all of the heavy lifting there. Okay, so you can see here I've got like 508 HBAR, which we'll use to buy an NFT. So this is Zeus Market. If we're going to profile now, I've connected. Uh, you can edit your profile. Again, you need to approve in your wallet. Once you've approved, you then go ahead and you can add loads of bits and pieces here about your website and username if you want to. You can see that I've got all of my owned NFTs here. If I go on Hashpack Wallet and click on NFTs and go on Gallery, you can see I've got a whole bunch in here. You can see I got a little bit addicted to buying some HBAR domains the other day. Who didn't? But I've also got some actual artwork NFTs here as well. Okay, so that's in my wallet and it also shows up in NFT uh, in, in Zeus Market. You've got your listings. Um, I've got a couple of uh, domains listed there. So Triple G and Canelo had a fight on Saturday just gone. So I bought some domains and thought I'd list them just for a bit of fun. So you've got the activity, so you can see I've got all my purchases and my listings, offers and collections in which you've got your NFTs. Okay, so that's your profile. Okay, so that's kind of your starting point. I know on your screen you can, you can just about see what's going on on the left here. The marketplace is all of the NFTs listed on Zeus Market. Okay, you can search NFTs, you can you, you fill on recently listed, high, low, Low, high, most likes, da, 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 da. Okay, so kind of a, a normal kind of listing of cards. If you click any one of these, it'll open up the card itself and it'll give you all of the attributes, the description, bit about the actual project itself, um, who owns it, that type of thing, right? So pretty, pretty cool stuff. Now you can make an offer on an NFT or you can buy an NFT, but the first thing you need to do is associate your account or your wallet in this case. Now, I did a video a couple of days ago about how to generate artwork and mint NFTs on Hedera. And there's a few steps you need to go through. You need to create a token and then uh, mint NFTs against that token. Now, you can't transfer NFTs to another wallet until you associate an account or a wallet to that token. And that's what you're doing. That's why we need to associate. So if I was to buy this NFT, I'd need to associate first. In fact, let's go ahead and buy just a random NFT, right? So I've got about 500 uh, why not? Let's go with Reefers Shark Club. It's 200 H bar. Why not? That's a bargain. Okay. Do your own research. I don't know if this is, uh, you know, has rarity traits or, or what. You know, it's just look, doing a demo here. Why not? So I need to associate the token, approve it in your wallet. Again, that negates the need to pass over your private um, key or anything like that. So it fires a signal to your hashback wallet. You approve the transaction. It takes a couple of seconds. Bob's your uncle. We're done. Okay. So we're now associated. I can now make an offer. So I can put 150, make an offer. The owner of the NFT would counter offer or accept it, and then you'd end up buying. But we won't do that, right? Okay, we're gonna buy this NFT outright. There we go, approve, and I've just bought that for 200 HBAR. I know I've got it covered with the price of the NFT plus the transaction fee. 
all hunky dory. I take a couple of seconds to go ahead and do that. Done. Okay, so I just bought that. Happy days. You've got domains. So I bought a whole bunch of domains the other day in hashgraph.name. This is relatively new, hot off the press. There's a lot going on in domains. If you're on a Zeus market, you can see there's so many domains popping up. Uh, it's just a great place to be at the minute. It's, it's, it's just loads happening. So these are all your domains, you've got auctions. So this is a bit of testing currently. Um, so when you list an NFT, you have a choice of listing it, you know, quick list, so you can put price and just list it in the marketplace, or you can auction it in a Dutch auction, where you put your kind of your bottom price and a starting price and then it drops in price in increments of like one or two percent until somebody makes an offer okay it's in beta testing currently and i'll show you how to do that in a second launch pad so these are new projects okay so this is where uh new projects list their collections and you can mint them and you know, visit the launch pad here you can oh this is actually i looked earlier and that wasn't sold out so that's actually you know doing really well i think there was 10 more nfts that needed to be in it minted so 10 have been sold in the last hour or so. Got collections. These are all different collections that are on um, Zeus Market. You got what have been sold. You can see mine will be on here somewhere. There you go, Reefer Shark. I purchased that. You got stats, you got feed, you got rewards. So this is um, not bad. Yeah, this is a bit of testing as well. So these are the rewards. You can't even redeem them yet. So this is how new it is. So watch this space. And then you've got your profile again. Okay, so I haven't listed any other than these um, these domains, but it's very, very easy to do. If you go into your NFTs, um, let's go to, um, what have we got? I don't really wanna list any of those. Let's go, let's try and list this one, right? Okay, I bought this earlier on. Okay, so we can stick 400 HBAR. I think I bought it for 300, I can't remember. And you can list the NFT and it's listed straight away. Okay, no, no more messing around, it's straight on the marketplace. Um, once this is done, that should be in there. And the other option is to add an auction. So go back in a profile. Um, you can see that is actually now listed. We can go in here and go auction this NFT. And you can put a start price, let's say 10,000 or 10,000 H bar, and minimum price is 50,000 H bar. Okay or 5,000 H bar. Now, if I put submit, that will add it to the auction, and every hour or so, that will drop in price until somebody makes an offer. I'm not gonna do that, okay? Um, but that's how you do it. Right, so that was a whistle-stop tour of Zeus Market. It's a brilliant, brilliant uh, website to get involved with. Connect your Hashpack wallet and just have some fun. NFTs are booming on Hedera currently. Before I close this video off, like I say, like, comment, subscribe, click the bell. It's, it will help me grow this channel uh, and I love doing this. So let me know if you want to see anything in the future, any more videos. In the meantime though, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.